Welcome to part three of T-Series, meaning the world's largest T-Rex, not that T-Series. All right. <laughs> Let's get into it. Checking in. So we're going to be doing the last piece of the right side of the back of the skull. So I had to print the back of the skull in eight pieces total. This is number four right here. This is going to take a day and a half, printed at 0.3 with 12% fill. So um, I'm also doing four layers on the perimeter. Uh, I like a really strong feel to it. Plus once I'm done with it, who knows what I'll do with it. So I want it to be nice and strong and uh, capable of biting stuff. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some things to reinforce the teeth I think. But anyway, we'll keep on trucking. I think what I learned with the PETG is it's really important to get that first layer right. And if you don't, it doesn't stick very well. But there we go. It's been quite the journey. I'm about to print the last piece of the 20 pieces of the T-Rex skull. Got a lot of pieces like this. Taking about 24 hours a piece. I think this one took about 23 hours. I'd say overall, I've probably got 400 print hours into this project. I didn't really skimp. I mean, I made solid parts because that's what I like. So anyway, I'm about to start on the absolute last print and I'm pretty excited to uh, put everything together and have it done. It almost feels sad in a way I've been working on it so long. But uh, here it goes. Good morning, everybody. It is time to put together the entire T Rex. Look at this thing, it's going crazy. Got all these parts laying on the floor here. There. All right. Got to put them together now. It's going to be fun. A lot of glue. It's the final assembly! Holy crap! Look at that thing! It's huge! It's enormous! For the moment of truth. Do they fit together?
All right, so take, let's take a look here at the final product that we got. Um, I haven't painted it yet, but pretty much we're done except for paint. We got all the seams filled in, sanded beautifully. That was a lot of sanding time, but it came out really awesome. And this thing weighs a lot. Uh, I got a few final touches to do to it, but I mean, it really came out great. I can't complain at all. I'm really excited about the piece, and I got plans coming up. So I'm gonna conclude the giveaway, and we're gonna choose a winner. So remember to comment and subscribe to get your chance to win that skull. Yeah, my sword just fell over. And like the video, like the video too. Smash like. So that's gonna conclude this part, but I'm gonna have to paint this thing and then I have some other ideas about what I'm gonna do with it. And that's gonna be the next video series um, where I'm gonna to have to probably print a smaller skull, experiment, and then see if I can actually pull off what I want to do with that. So subscribe so you can see what I end up finally doing with this because I'm gonna to try to turn it into like a really cool art piece. All right, thank you so much for staying tuned for this series and I'll see you later.